it's Kristen from Sono Real Whole Body Health, and today I am cooking up my bacon maple roasted cabbage. And this dish is seriously a huge winner. This is basically what we call our house recipe here. I make it all the time for a side dish during the week, and I'm especially making it when people come over because it's a huge crowd pleaser. And um, the reason I came up with this recipe was basically because I'm not a huge fan of cabbage, or I should say I wasn't a huge fan of cabbage. It wasn't my favorite vegetable. So I just thought of adding flavors that I really love, and this one turned out to be a huge winner. It's super tasty and super easy to make, too. So I started out with a whole purple cabbage. I pretty much always use the purple cabbage for this one. I just like the way it looks. I think it looks really nice. So I took the whole cabbage and cut it in half. I already did that um, so that you didn't have to witness my scary knife skills because they're a little bit horrendous, I have to admit. So I just chopped off the bottom and then I cut it in half. And now that I've got it in halves, I'm actually only going to use one half for the recipe. So I'll put the other half aside to use later in the week. And I'm just going to cut the core out. Actually, before I cut the core out, I'm just going to um, peel off the outside leaves. So instead of rinsing it and any of that, you don't even have to deal with that. You can just peel off the outer leaf, get rid of that, and then you're good to go. So I'm just going to cut out the core of the cabbage. And I do that by just kind of cutting into it. Cabbage can be tough to work with because it's super tough and fibrous and it's really large. So you have to get a big sharp knife and just be really careful. So I'm cutting out the core and I kind of just cut into it on an angle so that it loosens and then pops out and that makes it pretty easy. So from there, I'm just going to slice this up into really thin, thin slices, kind of as thin as I can get it. So just slicing all along the entire cabbage and it almost makes long strips and they're going to get roasted and crunchy. Okay, so now all of my cabbage is cut up into those long strips and I'm just going to spread it out on a sheet pan that I've already lined with foil just to make my cleanup really, really easy and quick because I know after a nice delicious dinner, the last thing we want to do is scrub a pan. So I'm just spreading this all out and see how it's a good idea to use just the half of a cabbage because this makes a lot. And if I were to use the whole cabbage and kind of try to evenly distribute this here, it would be too much and the cabbage wouldn't end up crispy. It would end up kind of soggy. So if you are going to use the whole cabbage, do two sheet pans for this for sure and really get it nice and spread out. So all of that goes on there and then I'm just going to add some flavor before we roast. And my oven is already preheated to 400, so that's ready to go. So I'm just doing two tablespoons of olive oil, which I've already pre-measured, and just drizzling it all over the top, putting that on there. And two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. This cabbage, once it's, once it's done, has all kinds of flavors in it. It's like sweet and a little bit kind of, not spicy, but that the pepper that we're going to put in, the black pepper. So it's like sweet and sour and it's got the salt from the bacon. It's really, really yummy. So salt and pepper, standard procedure when cooking vegetables or roasting vegetables especially. Just kind of cover it with salt, give it a few turns, a few grinds of the salt and pepper. So I've got the olive oil, vinegar, apple cider vinegar in this case, salt and pepper, and now I'm just kind of moving it all around so that it gets evenly distributed all over the cabbage and it's going to go into the oven 400, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes just like that. Okay so in the meantime while my cabbage is roasting in the oven I'm going to get my bacon ready. So all I'm doing is just one strip of bacon and it's really all you need. So I am kind of in the mindset that uh, using just a little bit of a good quality bacon that you can buy organic at a farmer's market from a farm that you trust or, you know, from a nice natural grocery store. Whole Foods does a great job of um, vetting all of their meat products, so I, I do trust their bacon. Um, I'm just cutting this into strips, and I do believe that bacon is really not an unhealthy food for you as long as you're getting it from a good source and you know that it's organic. So I'm just cutting it first into long strips, 
and then into kind of little bite-sized pieces before I put it into my pan. So all these little bacon bits are gonna go all over our cabbage and give it amazing flavor. Seriously, this is a crowd pleaser. Everybody loves bacon and maple flavor together. So I'm just heating up a little pan here on my stove. And I can put it on kind of a low medium heat and then just throw the bacon right in at the same time. And you don't want to go too high when you're cooking bacon. You want it to slowly render out all of its fat so that it just crisps up really nice. So we'll just let that render up until it's nice and crispy and then we'll put it all together. All right, my cabbage is out of the oven. It's crispy and crunchy and I'm gonna add my bacon and maple syrup now to make it tasting really, really good. So I've got my bacon that's all crisped up here and I'm just gonna pour it on top and I'm even adding in all of the bacon fat that was rendered uh, from that bacon. It's just one piece of bacon. So really this just goes on to all of the cabbage and makes it taste really, really good. So I'm mixing it all up and then I'm adding two tablespoons of maple syrup. And this recipe is really easy because it's basically two tablespoons of all of those um, little add-ins that we did. So we did the olive oil, two tablespoons of that, the apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of that, and now two tablespoons of our maple syrup with our one slice of bacon that was cooked up in a low heat pan. The cabbage was in the oven for 20 minutes, just about at 400, and that's all ready to go. So I guess I should just give it one little taste. Probably gonna have some of this for lunch today. Let's see how it is. It's almost like cabbage spaghetti, right? Mmm. Crunch of the bacon. Sweet, sour, salty, delicious. So thank you so much, I've got a mouthful, for joining me again for a quick health tip this week with our bacon maple cabbage. Nice and crunchy and delicious. And I hope you'll come on over to sonobrio.com and sign up to receive quick health tips every single week. Tuesday mornings, you get a little email from me with a short five minute health tip each week. Happy, happy. Okay, have a great day and I will see you next week.